Hello everyone, it's Dr. Ryan coming to you from my office with another step one question review. Today we've got a hypertension drug physiology question from the Boards and Beyond QBank sent in to me by a student, so let's jump right in. So the question says, a 50 year old man is seen in clinic with a blood pressure of 160 over 88. He is treated with nifedipine. Two weeks later, his blood pressure is 132 over 78. Which of the following changes have occurred in this man after treatment with nifedipine for left ventricular afterload cardiac output and work of the heart. Okay, so we've got a pretty straightforward question about the physiologic effects of antihypertensive drug treatment. And anytime you're studying hypertension drugs, remember you wanna learn not just the mechanism of action to those drugs, but you wanna know how they affect physiologic parameters, things like preload, afterload, total peripheral resistance, and cardiac output. That's what you're most likely to be asked about on your step one exam. So in this question, they're asking us about nifedipine, and you have to remember that nifedipine is a calcium channel blocker. Specifically, it's a dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker, which makes it different from other calcium blockers like deltiazem and verapamil. Because nifedipine is a dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker, its dominant effect is peripheral arterial or vasodilation. It's going to cause vasodilation, and that is going to lower the total peripheral resistance. So this is the first sort of important physiologic effect to know about nifedipine is that it lowers the TPR. Once you recognize this, then you can reason out the answer to the question. So they wanna know what happens to afterload after treatment with nifedipine. Well, anytime you lower the TPR, you're gonna lower the afterload. Afterload is largely determined by the peripheral resistance. And then for cardiac output, you have to know that afterload is one of the four determinants of cardiac output. The other three are heart rate, contractility, and preload. And so anytime you lower the afterload, you're lowering the forces that resist blood moving out of the left ventricle into the body. And so that's going to raise the cardiac output. So afterload should go down after nifedipine and cardiac output should go up. And then for work of the heart, you need to appreciate that when there's less peripheral resistance, there's less resistance to blood flow out of the heart, and therefore the heart has to do less work. So work of the heart should decrease. And so the correct answer to this question is that nifedipine decreases afterload, increases cardiac output, and decreases work of the heart, answer choice D. And the cool thing about physiology, in my opinion, is that if you understand what I just said about nifedipine, you can also answer questions about other drugs that lower TPR. So the same effects we describe here for nifedipine would also occur if a patient were treated with hydralazine, that's a direct vasodilator, or an angiotensin receptor blocker, that drug also lowers TPR through vasodilation. So knowing the main physiologic effect of the hypertension drugs lets you answer lots of questions about different drugs that work the same way. Okay, so what's the take home message from this question? Basically, it's to understand the physiology of the antihypertensive drugs. That's what they're gonna ask you about on step one. Don't stop after you've learned the mechanism of action. Go the next step further and think about what does that drug do to heart rate, to contractility, to preload, to afterload. These are high yield things to know for step one. And that concludes today's video on a step one question review.